how to stop overthinking about the worst case scenarios and get your mind back. Deep divers, are you someone who's always overthinking? Are you someone who wakes up looking a little bit shaky, baby? Are you someone who's afraid of everything and you spend hours upon hours like thinking about what could go wrong or what has already gone wrong? Is overthinking causing you more problems than it is blessings? Well, deep divers, you've come to the right place because this video is all about how to stop overthinking about the worst case scenarios and get your mind back according to a psychologist. Someone actually asked me this. Deep divers, I want everyone to smash that like button right now if you support the real. Hit that like button, share this video because someone out there needs to see this. Look, someone sent me a message you got a question for me, add me on Instagram at official Ralph Smart. They're like, Ralph, I love your videos, but I can't stop overthinking. I'm scared right now. Like my whole life is a mess, Ralph. And I got so many issues and problems and I can't even sleep, Ralph. It's like I got insomnia right now. And I got like so much going on in my life right now. It's crazy. I'm kind of unstable. And I spend my entire day just thinking about how bad my life is right now help ralph well i'm gonna help you out deep divers because that's what i'm here to do are you ready the cat down the road is well let's go let's go let's go <laughs> Peace, infinite waters, diving deep once again. Beautiful deep divers of planet Earth. I woke up like this, not overthinking, all magical and fly. And I hope you're taking care of yourself. Look, if you are watching this video, this is your confirmation that it's all going to align for you. Everything, no matter how bad it seems right now, is going to work itself out for you. Are you ready for that, Deep Divers? Let me sprinkle that good ass energy on you right now. Take that, take that, take that. Let's breathe. I'm alive right now. Deep Divers, I said let's breathe. Are you ready? Let's go. Woo! Breathing in that good ass prana, baby. Raising the frequency. Raising the vibration. Deep divers, are you someone who's always overthinking? Do you have anxiety? Do you have, you're looking a little bit shaky, baby, right now. Okay, well, you've come to the right place because I actually studied psychology. And it was because I had anxiety. I had anxiety when I was like 16 and, and that age. And I realized it was because I was overthinking. And I realize this trait of overthinking is in a lot of people. A lot of people wake up overthinking because we are living in a kind of crazy ass world where a lot of people are consumed with fear about what the future holds, about their life, where they are, where they are right now. So it can be hard. It's not easy. It is not easy to stop overthinking because there is a lot to be worried about and rightly so it means you're human if you're worried it's okay to overthink but the problem is what happens when overthinking is interfering with your peace of mind what happens when overthinking is destroying your quality of life well if that's you you've come to the right place because i guarantee you after this video your overthinking is not going to be what it was it's gonna wait wait a second where did the overthinking go and we ain't even had breakfast yet. Can I get a hello there? I kid you not, deep divers. I wake up with an empty mind because I've learned the formula, the secrets to stop overthinking about the worst case scenarios and get my mind back and stop living in my head. You see, deep divers, first and foremost, if you are someone who is overthinking, I want you to remind yourself that it hasn't happened yet. You know, 90% of people's thoughts are about what is going to happen. But 
spoiler alert, it hasn't happened yet. <laughs> so what you have to do every single day is remind yourself that what I'm thinking about is not here yet. So let me focus on what is here. Well, that's not as entertaining. Exactly. You see, a lot of people, deep divers, they love to be entertained. And they entertain themselves with the worst case scenarios. They focus on what they focus on everything that's gonna go wrong. They wake up with paranoia. But I wake up with pronoia, and that means the whole universe is working in my favor. This is how I stop to overthink. You see, you want to focus on what you can control, not on what you can't. When I wake up, deep divers, truth be told. I can think and think and think and think about everything wrong with the world. And there is so much wrong with the world. I know. I can even look at my own life and say, oh my gosh, there are things I haven't done yet. I need to do. <laughs> but you see, overthinking is the greatest thief of your time. Mm, oh my gosh. Say it again, Ralph. Mm. I said overthinking is the greatest thief of your time. And the greatest misuse of your imagination. So, I always tell people, if you want to stop overthinking, focus on what you can control. That should be your primary objective every single day. Stop worrying about things you have no control over. You know, deep divers, a lot of people, they analyze every single thing in their life. They analyze people, they analyze situations, they analyze themselves. And this is the reason why a lot of people get caught up in overthinking. You see, what if I told you analysis is actually paralysis? Say it again, Ralph. I said analysis is paralysis ever been there deep divers thinking about something you're thinking about something and you're not moving you just stare freeze frame oh my gosh <laughs> so analysis is paralysis you see i don't overthink i don't overthink a lot well sometimes but not a lot you know why because i've learned analysis is paralysis stop analyzing life and start living life Oh, I like that sounds so poetic, Ralph. Exactly. <laughs> you know, deep divers, a lot of people are overthinking and they actually forget where they are. This is the dangers of overthinking. You might be on a beach, on a beautiful coastal area, but you might be so wrapped up and consumed in your thoughts, you don't even remember where you are. You've forgotten where you are. And that's what overthinking can do to you. So when we talk about not overthinking, we have to learn to be present. We have to learn to enjoy the power of the now. You know, someone who inspired me to become a psychologist was the great Gestalt founder, Fritz Perls, who said, you got to lose your mind and come to your senses. And this is a great secret to stop overthinking. you got to lose this mind, this analysis this judgment of situations and yourself and you have to remind yourself every single day that your overthinking is created from fear which is false evidence appearing real the less fear you have the less thoughts you have the more fear you have the more thoughts you have about what could go wrong so to stop overthinking, you must start realizing fear created it in the first place. And fear can mean two things. False evidence appearing real. Or forget everything and rise. And that's what I want you to do today, deep divers. Forget everything and rise. Rise to the occasion that nothing can harm you. Nothing can hurt you. And you are protected. You know, a lot of people start overthinking. You know why? Because in the media, they're shown bad, bad images of violence. And there's so much happening with Israel and Gaza and all of these things. And your own life is a mess. 
and you're worried about your relationship and you're worried about the bills you gotta pay and you're worried about your mom, your dad, your brother, your sister and the world and that stranger over there and even the cat down the road. <laughs> well, you see, when we talk about not allowing overthinking to get in the way of our quality of life, you have to remind yourself that you have to stop allowing things, people, and situations that aren't serving you to live rent-free in your mind, okay? I said you've got to stop allowing things, people, and situations to live rent-free in your mind. Why do we allow? Why do we roll out a red carpet? For things, people, and situations which aren't serving us. Do you know why, deep divers, so many people focus on the bad instead of the good? Because it's an addiction. And you have to stop this addiction. Like, you might have, a, like, you might have five people, deep divers, who say, thank you so much. And you might have one person who kind of frowns at you. But you spend your whole day focusing on that one person who frowns on you. Whose fault is that? It's where you're looking. And now I've learned that. I've learned that. I only focus on what's serving me. And that's how I stop overthinking. Look, count your many blessings. Count your many blessings. Count your many blessings. This is how to stop overthinking about the worst case scenarios and stop living in your mind. Stop living in your head. Stop living upstairs. If you can remind yourself, deep divers, there are terrible things happening to you. Terrible things happening to me. Terrible things happening to the cat down the road. And terrible things happening in the world. And there are also amazing things happening to you. Amazing, amazing things happening to me. Amazing things happening in the world. And amazing things happening to a cat down the road. But the problem is, what are you counting? Are you counting how many problems you have? Or are you counting your blessings? Because it's a choice. And every single day I say, thank you, universe. It could be worse. It could be so much worse. We forget how worse it really could be. It could be terrible. Right? And we have to... Rem I used to work in a hospital, right? The London Clinic. Devonshire Place. Very expensive private hospital in central London. And I would meet so many people. I was actually a porter pushing patients around when I was a lot younger. But I actually saw a guy in a coma. I'm like, oh my gosh, what am I complaining about? I got life. And this actually helped me to stop overthinking about the worst case scenarios, to focus on gratitude, right? When we talk about overthinking, a lot of people start to overthink because they blow things out of proportion. And you have to really get a perspective. And this is how to stop overthinking about the worst case scenarios. You need a perspective to put things in perspective. And I say every single day, go somewhere where you can really put things in perspective. Go somewhere where you can have a bird's eye view of the situation and see the bigger picture. Okay, once you can see the bigger picture, you actually realize what you're worried about, what you're overthinking about is really not that important in the grander scheme of things in what Carl Sagan called the pale blue dot. We are literally a grain of sand in the universe. Okay, you want to see how small you really are. And that's a good exercise to stop overthinking. Do you know, deep divers, do you know, deep divers, there are more grains of sand? No, there are more stars <laughs> than there are grains of sand. There are more stars than there are grains of sand on this planet. That's fascinating. Fascinating, right? So when you remind yourself, the whole universe is vast. And I know what you're going through seems like it's unbearable. And it's got you overthinking, got insomnia, you can't sleep. But when you remind yourself there are more stars than grains of sand, you realize that your problems aren't as big as you actually think. Breathe and let go. Breathe and let go. This is how you stop overthinking about the worst case scenarios and stop living in your headspace. You got to learn how to breathe 
Let's breathe together, in fact. Let's stop overthinking deep divers about all, about all of our problems that haven't even happened yet. Let's just breathe. Let's go. One, two, let's go. Woo! Breathing in that good ass prana, baby. You gotta breathe in that good ass prana, baby, every single day. Look, deep divers, one of the greatest things you can do when you are in the midst of thinking about something, maybe you're worried about a future event, is to breathe and let go. Breathe and let go. Stop holding on to things which aren't serving you. Stop focusing on things which aren't serving you. Stop paying attention to things, people or events which aren't serving you and focus on letting go. When we talk about overthinking, and stopping it, you must once again lose your mind and come to your senses. You must learn the art of tuning in to your environment, to what is around you, and really being fully immersed in it, okay? Immerse yourself wherever you are in the here and now, and I guarantee you, the overthinking is going to start to disappear. You know why a lot of people overthink deep divers? Do you know why a lot of people are overthinking? Because they got a whole lot of time on their hands. And you see, overthinking is linked to time because you can't overthink if you don't have time. So you're overthinking because you have time. <laughs> so if you want to stop overthinking, you got to not have time, <laughs> which means you got to lose time, which means you got to get active. You got to be present. You got to get immersed in the present moment. That means you got to have an agenda. As soon as you wake up, you got to have a schedule of what you're here to do. You don't want to have free time floating around where you're going to occupy with overthinking, right? You want to be fully doing something. And when you are someone who is, for instance, in the heart of nature, like Ralph Smart every single day, you can become what we call mindful, right? And when you are mindful, you're really having a mindful of where you actually are, right? That's the contradiction, the, the paradox. Your mind isn't actually full with problems. You're just mindful. You're just aware, right? And this is how to stop overthinking about worst case scenarios which, ha which, which haven't actually happened yet. Deep dive is how to stop overthinking, okay? About the worst case scenarios and stop living upstairs. Focus on how much good is coming into your life, not on all the problems you have, okay? And you got to go somewhere where you can really see the view. You can really see the view and you can really remind yourself of, once again, the bigger picture and focus all the good that hasn't even happened to you yet. That is awaiting. That's awaiting you. You know, if you go back to when you were like, just say, two years ago you had a problem deep divers you had a, we all had a problem two years ago okay a lot of people thought they would never get out of that situation and it would swallow them alive but what happened fast forward two years touch yourself i'm alive I, you're still here deep divers so that meant you're stronger than whatever you're going through so sometimes a problem can seem insurmountable so big, so enormous right now, but you're going to get through it. So you have to remind yourself overthinking tricks you into thinking you don't have the tools to overcome what you're going through. But when you learn to breathe and let go, you remind yourself of how powerful you really are. Mm. I like that. Slow motion. Mm. I want everyone to smash that like button right now if you support the real. Smash that like button right now if you're ready to stop living upstairs and move forward in your life without overthinking. Because we've just dived deep. And that's why I'm just saying, feel so good to be alive, baby. Can I get a hello? <laughs> Beautiful deep divers. Let's breathe. 
breathing in that good ass prana baby and let go okay i want everyone to go and check out the number one best-selling book on amazon feel alive by ralph smart on amazon and at ralphsmart.com slash the book the bible of becoming your greatest version also go and check out the latest new book the book of 1111 infinite quotes by ralph smart at ralphsmart.com slash the book the secret recipe to becoming your greatest version and go and get the good ass prana shirts deep divers for men women children even cats at ralphsmart.com slash clothes and spread shirt.com if you're in america and if you're a sexy ass model woo, with a whole lot of heart you want to model the clothing well go and buy some we're doing the fashion show in miami if you want to be an infinite waters model make sure you add me on instagram at official ralph smart let me know why you have what it takes because it's going to be huge deep divers remind yourself if you're overthinking it's okay until it affects the quality of your life then it's not okay but the more you are present in the here and now the more your overthinking will cease to exist peace infinite waters diving deep once again stay well stay healthy peace you once again deep divers of planet earth make sure that you smash that like button share the video okay with someone subscribe and leave a comment down below of gratitude and appreciation and let me know deep divers how this video inspired you one love one love is one love all day peace <laughs>